Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose. And I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Figured we would pull some messages. And see what's going on with you guys. Hope everybody is having a great week so far. Let's see where we are. Oh, somebody wants to communicate with you. Somebody that you have moved away from intuitively as well. Somebody can't feel your energy anymore at all, especially with you coming up as the Empress. I Priestess, you have taken your energy back. Um, why this Eight of Wands? What do they want to say? It's like somebody um, wants to tell you that they don't want something to end with you, but they're at the same time, they want to apologize to you for not seeing you for the blessing that you are, especially with you being the empress here. Um, this person really did not play their cards right when it came to you. This was supposed to be a high level commitment. Um, damn, this was supposed to be very, whoa, Hierophant, Four of Wands, divinely guided. For whatever reason, you guys were aligned but the reason, not for whatever reason, you guys were aligned to do something great. Um, this person is finally getting some balance. A lot of major arcana cards here. You changed whoever this is. You changed your life um, by walking away. Everything stopped. Yeah, they unable to manifest the things that they want out of life. Um, a lot of doors are closed right now due to you you manifested a lot for this person without even trying just being around you helped this person manifest the things that they wanted out of life they're trying to figure out this is crazy this person is really doing the the, the shadow work they're trying to figure out why they betrayed you trying to make sense of it um, because when they look at you, they see like greatness. They just, the total package, somebody that I would want to build a life with and they don't understand why they sabotage the situation with you. Nine of swords being here and six of swords in reverse. They're trying to release this feeling of feeling victimized, feeling like, feeling like they were left behind, but they can't. It's. I don't know if they're going through a severe depression. It's like this person, especially with the lovers in reverse, you do not want anything to do with this person. They are truly, mm, it's just like they're in their feelings, um, but hard to a degree of, in order for them to get out of whatever depression this is, they need to do the shadow work and figure out why they did what they did to you. So they're really trying to figure this out because it's almost like they feel like they can't survive without you. Um, why does three of cups the same message um what they need to understand is you'll never go towards them without them taking accountability of the situation they put you in um this person went outside of your relationship and was romancing other people um it's almost like they were waiting for an opportunity to to do this to you it's it, I, I don't I don't know understand this it's like this person um, they can't change the fact that you're not in love with them like that anymore that's what's like there's nothing they can do to change this so they're very confused um, and it, yes five of swords thank you like they are very confused they don't really know how to move forward in life you did a number on this person. And they did a number to themselves. Nine of cups in the sun. They have to watch you be fruitful and abundant and happy and beautiful and handsome. Take the energy out resonates. But they have to watch you in the sun by your... They, they can't have you. It's tearing them up. Um, I don't know why all of these are in reverse. Why nine of wands and the lovers in reverse? It's like they won't face the truth about themselves. And the, and the truth is, literally, they can't have you. They, you're not, 
you're not a karmic they are that's the problem it's like you wouldn't change your mindset and lower your standards and so it's almost like they feel like less than you um because you were bigger than this situation like you just walked away i hope this is making sense it's like this person's ego is shattered um there's no new beginning with you you don't love them anymore it's so many things that are a no a hard no it's almost like they don't want to they they have to face this truth about themselves but they don't want to the truth is they completely let you go and didn't even understand what they had and now that they understand what they have they're trying to figure out all these other ways that it's somebody else's fault when it's initially their fault um yeah you you don't want to take a chance with this person they still want you but you this is not somebody that you are i don't see you going towards this person at all um it was like they were trying to keep you in this toxic world that you you were not going to be able to stay there you had no choice but to elevate. I don't know why they thought they could keep you in um, a low vibrational situation and that you would stay. Like, you know, it's almost like you know that you're not going to, spirit's not going to give you this type of person that's so willing to um, be there for you, so willing to love you unconditionally and you treat them like this multiple times, they're not going to stay. Um, and I don't care who you are. Like, eventually you're going to get strong enough to walk away. They really didn't think you were ever going to get strong enough to walk away. Um, yeah, your strength is here. You were stronger than the burdens that this person tried to bring towards you. And you went on your own. Um, a lot of you, not a lot of you, but some of you may be single right now. Like, you just went towards your, your own happiness, your own peace, the things that bring you satisfaction, joy out of life. Started connecting with friends again. Started connecting with family again. Maybe this person could have kept you away from family and friends. Um, just keeping you in this low vibrational shit all the time. Especially with the devil being here. They played a lot of mind games. And there was a lot of toxic behavior going on. Um, they feel trapped. Because they can't do anything but watch. There's a, a, a mindset in this person that has to change in order for anything to change in their life. They have to change their mindset or they're going to do this again. Not to you, because clearly you don't want nothing to do with their ass, but to someone else. It's like this person wants to tell you they truly did love you. Um... They were juggling, that's why they never came towards you. And they, damn, it's almost like they're trying to, it's like they knew they were stabbing you in the back, so I can't really give them a pass. I can't even explain this. Like, you knew you were fucked up when you were doing what you were doing, so your back was turned. When your back was turned, this person was lying. They were deceiving. They were manipulating. They were doing anything they could to get over on you. You may have you may have children or children may have been involved in a situation where they were around your kids maybe y'all lived together at one point but at some point y'all joined assets um you let this person into your life in a in a real way and they stabbed you in the back The justice for this person is one, they need to go in within and they need to heal, but also um, they have to be alone. They don't want to be, but they, they have to release you. There is no getting back to you. This person has to let it go. They are addicted to you right now and your energy is seductive. This person is heartbroken, but this was a player energy. This person had you in a third party situation. It feels like you took them back more than once Regardless of what you may have found out, you, me, and she is here, and a lot of betrayal. Like, there's no coming back from this situation. If you ever was to take the time to entertain this person, 
and you actually did do something with them, they're going to try to put some type of sexual energy on you to make you stay. Like, they're going to try every trick they got. They're going to try anything they can because they don't want to lose that energy from you. Your question and their loyalty, but because they do have a lot of passion for you, but this is a narcissist. This person is going to always put themselves first. Um, even in a reading, like, they know that they sabotaged this, and this was a gift from the divine, but at the same time, they ignored the gift, uh, went out of their way to deceive the gift. They, they did so much that they put themselves first all the time. This person doesn't know how to love someone other than themselves. And they have a lot of regret for that. But that's not something that you can help them with. This is something that they have to help themselves with because this is bigger than you. They're going to always put themselves first. Even when it comes to their kids, their family, their feelings and what they have going on comes first. That's the problem. They don't know how to walk in someone else's shoes and see what someone else may be going through and try to relate to it. It's like this person thinks everyone is supposed to relate to them. They don't have to relate to others. They're going to always be stuck in this energy. That's why they won't get you back. You, me, and she is here multiple times that they put you in this third-party situation. And it, it was fate that you walked away. And not only did you walk away, you walked away so abruptly, they, they weren't prepared. You know, they may have been messing with this one or that one, but they were not prepared for you to walk away. You rocked their whole world when you walked away. Now, granted, you had to because you had to change your own world. Because at that point, that person was bringing you all the way down. All the way. And only because you brought them balance. Going back to this first card, they do want to communicate with you. But at the same time, what kind of apology? I've said this in another reading. Like I, the, It's so small. Page of Cups. It's a page. It's not even a real, you understand what you did to me. Did you walk in my shoes yet to feel how I've experienced being with you? Hell no. This person just wants you back. They want what they can't have. They feel like they have unfinished business with you, so you will get an unexpected message from this person. I feel like they will call you blocked, but they are very manipulative. They just don't want you to go. They're going to try everything in the book. You're giving them a spiritual awakening, though. Um, they may even try to... It's something about the way that you move or your energy or something that this person is trying to act like they're learning off of you, but they really aren't. You know, like they're using your jargon, they're using your words, the way that you express things. They're using it on new people. And so it's making them look like they got their shit together, but really they just using your script. Like they're using the words that you say. You know, this part, like, they, they game ain't even the same since you gone. Like they can't even pull the same thing they was pulling when they was with you. It's crazy. Um... And they're still around these low vibrational karmics. Like snake is here. This person could be a water sign. They don't have to be. And they just want to talk. Um, I feel like uh, you, what are you going to do here? I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask. Because they want to have a conversation. At some point, this person is going to reach out. If they've not already reached out to you, they want to say something to you. It's like, you are so trying, listen, you are not entertaining anything that does not benefit you. If it doesn't benefit you, you're not going to entertain it. And that, and I mean, you're going to be so respectful because you're queen of cups, your love of love. You're not going to be harsh about it. It's just a hard no. It's, it's just a hard no. I've already left this situation. There's no reason for me to go back. I found my own balance. Look at that temperance twice. You could be a Sagittarius as well. Or they could be at the same time. It's like you're you're just like I'm too balanced to go back to this, whatever this is. Um, you're manifesting new love, literally. You don't want anything to do with this. This could be an Aries for you as well, but you are strategically. You could be in a, in that mode where you're strategically trying to manifest the right person to come towards you because you know this was toxic. And you're standing your ground with what it is that you want and the people that you work with. Like, you're only working with people that are working with you. You've got a strong wisdom about yourself. You've learned a lot about what you can take and what you can't. And you're just not dealing with a lot of bullshit anymore in life. 
You're just not. You have new opportunities coming your way as well, so stay poised. Um, even when you feel like you don't have a lot of choices, you still have choices coming in, okay? Ace of Pentacles is here. Just keep your mind sharp, clear, and concise. Be very, uh, what's the word? Uh, be very disciplined in your decision making, but at the same time, be very uh, stern about what it is that you want. I feel like this has something to do with an offer, could be with work, but at the same time, what, even if it's in love, if it's not something that you want, if it's not what you're trying to manifest, I see you moving away from whatever choice this is very quickly. Um, even when you feel like you don't have choices, you still make a choice to, I'm not going to deal with that just because I don't feel like I have choices. You know, like you've got standards. Your standards are much higher now than they were before. You've healed. So now you know what you want in a, in a mate, in a partner. You know what you want. And you're going to go towards this. Listen, you're not going towards things very fast anymore. You're kind of going towards it slow because you're looking at what you've learned in the past. Especially with this Eight of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Wands. You've learned about you're not trying to argue with nobody going back and forth. You are not trying to be trapped and feeling like, you know, I've got to compete with other people and I may not be enough and all. You don't want to deal with any of that shit. You will walk away from the Five of Cups. You're not trying to do that, especially because you know that's toxic. It's certain things you just will not allow in your life anymore. But this person is still toxic, okay? Um, death is here because it's, it's, this is a rebirth. It's time for this to be ended. This is over. The world, this is over. Regardless of how much you may ignite passion in this person, you actually ignite them to want to do better for themselves. Whenever they do have this epiphany of the things that they need to fix within themselves, it's because of you. Um, but at the same time, you're just like, I don't want shit to do with that rose. Uh, King of Cups, four, yeah, you don't. Let's just move on. You don't. You don't want shit to do with this at all. I'm not going to keep pulling. And you're like, no. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get some messages from this person. And we go get up out of here. Because this person really wanted to. They, they still around. You know, I've done a few readings where they've not really been here like that. But this person is wanting you to know they're still around. Um, we need to let each other go. We need to let each other go. <laughs> I feel you leaving me behind. I wish I had treated you better. My life is not as together as it seems. You were the best thing in my life. I bury myself in work to forget you. And I'm starting to understand our connection. I don't react when people mention you. But I love you unconditionally. And I regret lying to you. I will wait for a sign from you. So if you ever did take this person back, you know, hopefully they've had that spiritual awakening, but I just, I don't really see this being something that you're going towards. It's just too much damage was done in order for you to look back at that. It's kind of like you had no choice but to move on and move on to better. This person lucked out, well not lucked out, their luck ran out uh, because they didn't understand what they had in you when they had you. They had the best connection that they ever had in their life when they had you, and they ruined it. So at this point, you just kind of like, I can't move forward with this. Um, kind of want to see. Let me take an affirmation for you real quick, too, because that's a lot. I feel like this was heavy. This was a very heavy situation that you were dealing with on your own. You may not have told a lot of people about it because it was kind of like... It's not that you were embarrassed, but in a way, you know, you knew what this person was doing and you didn't want people to necessarily know how much of their shit you were taking, you know? So this was a lot, but I'm proud of you for walking away from this and realizing that you definitely deserve better and you have a higher calling rather than this relationship. Raise your vibration. Raise your vibration. This person can't go with you. It is what it is. Raise your vibration. Think things through and make necessary sacrifices. This was a sacrifice for you. It is what it is. This person is going to have to have their own spiritual awaken, awakening and figure it out. It's not your responsibility to make them feel better or make them feel whole. Because when you weren't whole and you were falling apart, where were they? Right? All right, guys. I hope that resonated with you. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.